This is Alan Fry from FX Empire. Twitter is trading higher by about 35 cents in uh, Tuesday's pre-market after selling off following the uh, departure of uh, Jack Dorsey on Monday. Uh, taking a look back, the stock came public in the mid-40s in 2013, topped out around 75 just two months later, sold off into the teens in 2016. As you can see, we have a one, two, triple bottom here into 2017 made about halfway distance back to the prior high uh, in 2018, and then fell to a two-year low, posting a higher low during the pandemic decline. Now let's concentrate on this rally since uh, the pandemic decline. As you can see, it's a very strong rally, got back up to the 2013 high in February, 2021. Then we have this four-day breakout, which failed right here at the start of March, and it's been all bad news since that time. The stock came back down to the 50% retrace and came back up to about the 786 sell-off retracement here in July and resumed its downtrend. Now, the stock, a uh, good uh, two weeks or one or two weeks prior to uh, the resignation, as you can see, it broke down from this double top pattern here and then came back and tested that uh, new resistance level uh, during the rumor phase of uh, yesterday's events before uh, the uh, report was actually uh, confirmed. Well, when it was confirmed, the stock started to drop. Uh, it's come back down now to, uh, oh, I, I say the next target's right here around 39. And uh, it's right back here to this uh, this uh, January 2021 high. So here are interim lows, but we do have this breakdown confirmed now, which sets the stage for a decline, perhaps into the low 30s right here. As you can see, uh, OBV is dropping. And it's already dropped to, is this a 52 week? Oh, it's November 2021. We go back to November 2020. So accumulation down to a 52 week low. In other words, shareholders are getting out while they can uh, because the outlook for uh, Twitter, especially with a new and inexperienced CEO, is not really bright heading into 2022.